next guest is a Kiwi in China who has just emerged from their lockdown. And he's got a few tips for New Zealanders about to follow in his footsteps. And nine weeks after shutting down completely, life in China is finally returning to normal. Stores are reopening, the sun is shining, and yes, the traffic is rejamming. And Kiwi Gavin Crombie has been based in China for over two decades. Today, for the first time since January, he's back at work. And his message for New Zealanders, take heart, because it won't last forever. Gavin joins us now, not in isolation. Mate, nine weeks in lockdown, what was the hardest part? Look, the hardest part was actually getting used to it at the beginning. Um, it, it, it was just coming to terms with what that meant. Um, and as soon as you sort of get over that hump, and, and you know, honestly, that took us, uh, my wife and I and my son who lived at home, maybe a couple of weeks. And after that, it becomes very easy. We really need to pick your brains about how this is all going to be. How long was it in China before the panic buying slowed down? There, in the first week, there was some social media stuff where people posted pictures of, um, you know, the type of thing that I'm aware of going on in New Zealand. And people were just absolutely shamed. So, you know, if you imagine in China, there's gated communities. So you arrive home with a huge supermarket um, trolley full of goods. You were, you know, you weren't really treated particularly well. Wow. So I would say two weeks, two weeks into the lockdown. Two weeks before the power of shame stops people from doing it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh. <laughs> what are your top tips to keep sane during isolation? Well, you know, this is, you're going to probably think I'm a long haired, um, a long haired hippie here, but um, we downloaded an app called Calm, um, which is like, an, it's like a, a yeah. and, and literally my wife and I used it and it was just so good, you know, and we both discovered I'm, I, I'm a former chef. So I used to cook the meat and my wife cooks vegetables. My wife's vegetables are most amazing in the world. So, you know, we took so much um, fun out of just, you know, cooking dinner every day and, um, it really is, you just can't let this um, get to you. Look for the positive in it. Look for things that you can do. The main thing is don't lose your positive um, feeling because you come out the other side of this. There is another side. And we're so grateful now. Um, this morning we had our very first face-to-face -face management meeting with our uh, with our team here um, over a coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> wow, I tell you what, how's <laughs> How special is that when you've been inside, you know? Um, it's really special. Hey, thanks so much for your time tonight. And uh, great to get uh, some advice from the other side. Yeah, and just, look, uh, just a message to people. Please don't be anxious. Don't be fearful. You'll come through this. The government's doing the right thing, guys. Oh, Gavin, thanks for your time tonight. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Stay safe, guys. What a good guy. Uh, now, I have a message, by the way. His daughter works in a supermarket in Wellington, and her name's Sarah. So, Sarah Crombie, wherever you are tonight, I know you've been working 12, 14-hour days helping out on the front line, so uh, good for you. We're thinking of you. And they're still open during the lockdown supermarket. <laughs> yeah, they definitely are. Hey, and we also uh, checked in with Gavin earlier in the day and asked him what, what does he wish he would have done before before going into lockdown. Just an advice to all of you who've still got sort of yeah. half a day or so tomorrow. Uh, he said he wished he'd gotten a haircut. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that going around.